guys, so last Saturday, a week ago, I hit 2,000 subscribers, and then as of today, I hit 2,100 subscribers. Seriously, thank you so much for subscribing, liking, commenting, saying some very encouraging things, starting some great conversations, joining in, giving me your rankings, all that wonderful stuff. I, I appreciate it so much. I've made some great friends on here, and I've loved talking movies with you. With all of that said, from time to time, some people leave some comments that have been less encouraging, that have made me wonder, did anyone teach you how to use the internet and that there's human beings on the other side of this? So I, I find some of these incredibly funny. I thought I would share them with you. Some of them are sweet, straight, and to the point. Other ones are a little bit creative. Other ones are so astonishingly, astonishingly insane. I hope you'll get some uh, great enjoyment out of them. Some of the best ones I saved for the end. I tried to sprinkle good ones throughout, and then I think my three favorites are the last three. So stick around to the end or skip ahead to the end. Without further delay, here are some of the best mean comments I've received in the last six months. Ashton Dillard says, Are you stoned? Your eyes are dark red and squinty and puffy. Lol. I think he's not necessarily trying to be mean. He's trying to ask a legitimate question as of, uh, am I stoned? No, fun fact. I'm not fun enough to be stoned. I've never actually used the wacky tabacky in my life. Never gone on a date with Mary Jane. So if, I'm afraid I have never been stoned in any of my videos. I just apparently have all of the negative visual traits of a stoned person. Smurfy822 says, Minecraft says, this guy is so dumb. Sweet, simple, to the point. Kind of funny because if your name's Smurfy and you got Minecraft in your name, I'm pretty sure you're not 18 yet. And the guy thinks I'm dumb. Hurtful. Sean McDonald. Hey, we share a name. F you. Okay. Maybe we're not buddies after all. Can't say this guy's name. I'm trying to say it. F you. You f***ing statue. Apparently I wasn't animated enough in a reaction, so... All right, I'm sorry I failed you. And then he says his next comment. Like? Okay. <laughs> Ice Flash. Are you mental? Probably. I mean, you're probably right. I've got some mental problems or something like that. But if you're concerned about my mental state, I would think that you would want to help me seek help or something rather than yell at me. He's actually, that guy actually had about like 10 comments where he was like berating me for responding to all the comments on my um, Transformers trailer reaction. Uh, that I respond to almost all the comments on it because I'm trying to talk movies with you. That's like the entire reason I do this. So I've always responded to as many comments as I can. And so the guy was calling me mental. Fascinating. Shockwave, great reaction. Not. It's not 1992 anymore. I don't think you can pull that one off. TJP Real, this was a fun one. This guy went off on me for a long time. I actually couldn't actually put most of the stuff that he wrote to me because it was like violent and threatening to kill my mother and stuff like that. So I didn't want to include all of them, but he had a few things. And so I'll put the quote up on the screen. The last sentence is the best part. You call other people sexist, well, you are like the biggest sexist, sexist, gluttonous pig in the whole galaxy. First off, I'm not quite sure who I've called sexist. Second, biggest, sexiest, gluttonous pig in the whole galaxy. That, that's a good one. I, I got to give that guy props right there. That is a great insult. Um... That makes no sense at the same time. Next one on here. Just another loser who doesn't know what he's talking about. Probably true. I probably don't know what I'm talking about, but normally if you're trying to counter someone's argument, you counter their argument. You don't just attack them personally. You point out why they don't know what they're talking about. You don't just insult them because that's called an ad hominem. It's not an actual legitimate argument. It's a logical fallacy. So I might not know what I'm talking about, but at least I know some of the rules of logic and debate. Jill Tai says, idiot. Straightforward, to the point. Uh, fair enough. Wolo, this dude most of the time just tears down movies. 
and he gets paid to tear them down. I haven't got my check yet. I, I mean, so I get a little money from YouTube ads. I got some patrons. I got some stuff. So I, there is some money I make off of this. I make, I break even a little bit doing this. But no one is actually paying me money to tear down movies. I don't know what inside information Wolo, uh, Wolo has. But if he knows where my check is in the mail to tear down movies, I would love to know where that is. That's, that's number one. Number two... Absolutely. If you want to pay me money to tear down movies, I will take your money and I will tear down movies all day long. Um, that's not actually what I'm doing on this channel. I just like to talk about movies and some are good and some are bad. So some get praise and some don't. Um, but I will do that. If you want to pay me money, I'll tear down whatever. I'll make a fake review tearing down any movie, movie if you'll pay me money to do it. Third, if you actually look at the re reviews I've put on my channel, uh, and I have a keep track records of my ratings, um, about 70% of the movies I've reviewed in 2017, 70%, uh, like vast majority, clear majority, I've given a positive review to, a 6.0 or above, I've, vast majority I've given a positive review to. That means I review too light. So he's wrong. Um, it, I don't just tear things down. However, the way I review movies is analytical. And so I don't just heap, say positive things. I'll give a review like a nine out of 10, but I'll tell you why I didn't give it a 10. Therefore, it's easy to perceive as what I'm doing as saying more negative than positive because I'm trying to distinguish between a 10 and a 9 and an 8. So likewise, in my ranking videos, I will do a lot of comparative analysis where you will see why I'm putting things places, and that involves talking about the negative. But no one's paying me to do that as far as I'm aware, unless the checks are getting lost in the mail. So sorry, Wo Wolo, um, that's untrue. Most importantly, the movie he put this comment on was Baywatch. He put it on a terrible movie. It's not like I was tearing down, I, I don't know, Wonder Woman, something else that has like a, over a 90% on Rotten Tomatoes. He picked a movie that people tore to shreds far worse than I did. So, fun times. Darth Side 407, and this guy was just lighting me up for a day. Sean Chandler talks about... Just shut your dumb mouth, nerd. Actually, I added a word in there. I can't read. He didn't say dumb. He just said, shut your mouth, nerd. So he's actually a little bit more polite than I gave him credit for. But he lit me up in some other ones that were also mean-spirited. Fair enough. Uh, Kyle Martin, you a hater. Okay, it's good that uh, typing the word you and are were a little bit too much. You just, you a hater. Sorry. I don't even know what I, what I hated. I think I hated on the Transformers one. Most of these came from that Transformers reaction. Transformers fans you know, went off on me after my reaction to their first trailer. Here we go. Here are, th here are my, I think, my three favorites. Official Harrison. And this guy actually conversed. He wasn't being mean, but it's a funny comment. This guy looks like a ripe tomato. <laughs> So I switched to a new camera. I got uh, the Logitech 922 or 920C, I don't know, like two months ago. And I haven't quite figured out how to get the coloring on it just right. And I work outside in Texas, so I tend to have pretty red skin and colorful skin. Uh, combine that with it doesn't pick up this green behind me, so sometimes I'll fiddle with the saturation. And so this comment was from my Spider-Man review. And on that one, I'm just like glowing red. <laughs> Ripe tomato, fun times. He, talk, he was actually pretty nice when he actually talked back and forth with me. All right, the most recent one I got, this one actually, I saw this one today. It's actually kind of what inspired me to do this video today. Mesig Boglas, I can't pronounce it. I don't know how to say it. You are retard. <laughs> so I just, oh, woke up this morning to find this one. You are retard <laughs> on my ranking of the Arrow seasons. Um... I don't even know how to respond to that one because if you write the sentence, you are retard, you don't quite have the um, intellectual legitimacy via your ability to construct a sentence to say to someone, you are retard. Uh, just a thought. If that's the way you're going to communicate that sentiment, might want to hold off until you can construct the sentence properly. And finally, the best one I've ever received from Zach Hooper, 
This guy is worse than Hitler. <laughs> this is on a, my reaction to um, uh, the Supergirl. They did a, a series of um, crossovers between all the CW superhero shows. And I didn't care for the Supergirl one. I just thought they... It was awful. Like, they ruined it. They, they did not do a good job. They promoted it as a four-part crossover, and it wasn't. The episode itself was very frustrating to me, so I didn't care for it. Supergirl fans are really defensive of their show, and that video just happened to get lots of views, in which case it it's one of the most hated videos on my channel. I think it has the highest dislike percentage of any view on my or any video on my entire channel, and it inspired someone. This guy is worse than Hitler. So there you go. Those are the best mean comments that I've received over the last six months or so. Uh, I get a lot of, I get a bit, pretty big kick out of them. Um, I, I mean, I really, they don't bother me too much because they're all so funny. Uh, they're, they're amusing to me. Even if you want to you know, pick on how red my skin is, that's funny that you would to me that you would spend time doing that but uh anyway <laughs> the vast majority of you guys are very fr uh, fine wonderful people that leave fun comments you leave encouraging comments and you talk movies with me and i love that you do that because that's why i do that and if by chance this is the first of my videos you've checked out you picked a weird one because normally i talk about movies i don't talk about the conversation i'm having about movies with people with all that said if you are new to my channel please consider clicking that subscribe button i do movie reviews Reviews. I do ranking videos. Sometimes I talk about the conversation that's just going on, but really, I don't want to just talk about movies. I want to talk about movies with you. So join me in the comment section. Click that like button. And as always, thank you so much for watching.